Come on, come on, come on. Check it out, guys. Oh, no! What the heck is that? Dude! This is not a... Let's catch them all with Catch Em All Fishing with Zach Ketchum. You didn't even tell me you had something for us because we got something for you. Okay, okay, so. Presents all day. Guys, you don't even know that. I, I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure, but I had a feeling. I mean, he, he just, just come all the way down here. We live maybe an hour apart from each other, but he said he has a present for me. And I hope you guys stay tuned to see what it is because it's in. Oh, no! What is this? What? It's no fish or harm. I, I think you might want to. Uh... What is this? <laughs> oh, you joking? <laughs> There's nothing in there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> he has this big old thing. Look, look. She, she was supposed to film that. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay, guys. And it wasn't a real animal. <laughs> cut the cut it. Wait, so I have a surprise. It's a fish, right? It's a fish. Okay, it's a fish. So I'm assuming. It's up here. Go check it out. All right, all right, check it out. Come here, come on, come on, come on. Check it out, guys. This is a big container. This is a big container. See, I drove almost an hour just for that, you know? It, you drove an hour? I got some news for you. Is, there, is that a leaf? <laughs> I think you forgot the fish, bro. No, it's pretty small. It's pretty small? Dude. Leaf fish? <laughs> No, it's right here, it's right here. Oh, <laughs> I was like, help me, help me down. You're, you're off. Or, or, or help me oh my in. God, what the heck is that? Okay, no, you got this. Look at that neck. Look at that neck. Holding that, that's full of water? Yeah, oh my God. Wow, I just jumped from way up there. <laughs> so we're gonna trade, guys, my three little wild god Oscars for whatever. What are you surprising me with, guys? Open up. Open up? Okay. Okay, guys. Surprise fish. Oh my god. No way. Is that a is that a sturgeon? Dude. This is not a Oh my god. No my Oh my god. Oh my dude, I need an algae eater too. I literally just caught caught an albino stur oh stop albino sturgeon, albino plate an albino plate with it. I kept it in there. Oh, let me see. Let I me have see. it in there. I'll, I'll let you see it in a second. But dude, this is so much cooler. Guys, this is a wild algae eater. You can catch sturgeon with algae and with worms, with all sorts of stuff. This is such a gorgeous specimen. What kind of sturgeon is this? Are we allowed to keep this in yeah. Florida? Yeah, this okay. is a sterling sturgeon. A what? Sterling. Okay, sterling sturgeon. Take, so take a only, step back, take a step back. They only grow to about three feet. Is that a, is that a good angle? That's yeah. Okay. This guy here, he's already eating pellets, so, so he can come and eat out of your hands. Like, look, wait, he's sucking so, on my hand right now. Oh my god! So these things can come up and eat out of your hands. They yeah. eat like pellets, literally out of your hands. Yeah. Sinking pellets is better. Sinking pellets is better because, because they're not gulping for air, so uh -huh. they don't. They're not gonna. When you put when you uh -huh. put floating pellets, uh -huh. fish could also get a swim bladder problem. Really? Because they're sucking in air. Really? So so if I get sinking pellets and I put my hand below the surface, right. though, then you That's get to go. Probably the best way to do it. Look how beautiful this fish is, guys. I picked I picked the best one, bro. This is so gorgeous. And His name is Spurgeon. S Spurgeon? Mm -hmm. Spurgeon? <laughs> Okay, Lisa just named that one, that, and that, we're, that we're gonna flame me. Lisa in the comments for that. You know you have to flame, <laughs> guys. Beautiful, smart, but that you're getting flamed for that. I'm sorry, the internet is not gonna let that. Wait, look at her, guys. Look at her. Say that. Was it like tell a them, a tell them your made story. Of Spur gin. Look yeah. at that. Just, guys, it's, it's been eight surgeon. days into no not November, and this is what's happening to us. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> it's on my team. <laughs> So this is how you this is how you ship fish then yeah. like in a giant box like this and probably a little bit more water or something like that or less right and well, you fill it up with air <clears throat> is that how you ship these fish the fish has to be totally submerged. underwater okay totally submerged uh -huh. and then the rest is 100 percent oxygen uh-huh and then he'll be fine so the more oxygen the better obviously right as so, long as it's submerged with the water right and water is just enough for the uh -huh. fish to be in wow the, the oxygen is the important part wow so this is this is a huge box. So you can actually ship these giant fish that you have. Yeah. You ship them around the world, like the giant ones too. Yeah, but that, this, this yeah. to ship a fish like this has yeah. to be airport to airport. It can't okay. be FedEx. Airport to airport. Yeah, okay, that can't be uh, home delivered. This is gorgeous. How long? How long do these things get again? Three feet. Three foot. A three foot long 
hand-fed sturgeon, guys. I'm gonna try my best to keep this thing alive. What's the water temperature like for a fish like this? They actually go from 60 degrees up to 84. Okay, 60 to 84 degrees. So, so. They, they vary in a good, so good amount of 84, range. we should be okay in that pond over there, especially with like the, the flowing system that we have. And we're gonna have Greg Whitstock come very soon, guys, and he's gonna build two ponds for us, separated by a creek and it's gonna be absolutely outstanding wrapping around the back porch, guys. And we're definitely gonna have this guy eating out of our hands. This is insane. Do you have any pellets? Yeah, I have both. Why? Let's, let's try to feed him. Feed him. You think he's gonna eat while he's in the box? He could. He's I mean, hungry. He, he All right, I'll give him the pellets right here. Hold on a second. Faster, easier said than done. I always have pellets on me. I literally just bought these. Come prepared. Yeah, I know. Okay, guys, so we have pellets. I don't know if he's gonna eat like while he's in transport. That's a really unstressed fish. Okay, so I have pellets in my hand. Get close. Let's try that. See what happens. Get close to his head. No way this guy's gonna eat like right here. They're all floating though. That's the thing. Let's see. Oh my God, he's eating. Oh my God. He's literally, he was literally eating. He was sucking the pellets off. Yeah. This is gonna be ridiculous. He's so unstressed right now. You did such a great job transporting this fish that he's eating out of my hands while he's in this container, guys. We need to probably put this whole bag and let it float for, for what? Yeah, let's take for like for 10, 30, 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah, 15 minutes. Yeah, because um, I can definitely feel that the water temperatures are pretty close to the same, but I wanna be safe and solid. So, let's go ahead, guys. Let's take that. Lift this bath, bath up. Let's, let's take a step back, actually. Two, one. All right, guys, come with us. This is a fish I've always wanted my entire life, but I wasn't sure if you could keep them legally in South Florida. I thought you could have, but apparently this species you can keep in South Florida, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Ready? Yeah, okay. I'm um, gonna go ahead and uh, actually probably best to release it on that side just because there's a couple like cords over here. So we're gonna walk that way. All right, carefully, guys. We're about to have a crazy video trying to move this entire pool. We have to move a lot of fish. So what we're gonna do is you guys go over here on that side of the pool, and Rod and I are just gonna go ahead right here and drop them in. Uh, watch out, Timmy. <laughs> so the this guy. Swim together. Oh, they swim together. But dude, this largemouth bass and this striped bass are always side by side. This bass will eat right out of my hand already, like literally out of my hand. Timmy, we're looking at the sturgeon, guys. This sturgeon's been here for about five minutes. But look at this. Wait, is that the one that we caught? Yeah, that's you. That's your fish. What's her name? You gotta name her. I didn't name her yet. You know, I was afraid because of some of these fish, especially with the broken tails and They're stuff. They're like best they friends died. forever. Oh yeah, look. He left Shamu and she's with the cord now. She's a trader. She called <laughs> call her Z because her, her tail's like a... Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. You don't her like Z. Spurgeon. You're not going to get Z? Spurgeon. Oh, Spurgeon. Guys, is Spurgeon a good name? Bad. Please, in the comments below, Tell my hey. friend Lisa that Spurgeon is Timmy like average name. Timmy like I'm it. sure Timmy likes Spurgeon. <laughs> Charles Spurgeon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry I know things. Okay, that. Let us know what we should name this striped bass because the striped bass is good to go. That striped bass is really healthy. It's been under Shamu. It's been chasing the koi. Look at Shamu. Let me grab some food for that Shamu right now and just show you guys how it eats. Come here. Oh, she, oh come on. Timu did swing for it, but as you guys saw, she missed, and now she's being faster. Don't worry, little girl. Come on. Come on. Oh, I dropped it. She doesn't like it. Oh, eat it. Oh. She ate it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> she spits it out. <laughs> Peace to resistance. We want to go ahead and put my hand on this girl. Really good. If I can't. Ah. Ah, damn. Ah. Okay, 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 oh yeah. Ah. Guys, here we are with the sturgeon. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. Relax, relax, relax. Couldn't do too much in that. Sturgeon actually are really, really slippery, guys. But this guy's already chewing on stuff. He's gonna suck up all of this algae that's down here, along with that beautiful albino plago we caught in the last video, guys. Thank you so much, God, Lisa. Predatory fins, guys. Predatory fins. These are my friends with the most giant fish of all time, uh -huh. getting slime everywhere. <laughs> no, no, no. no, come over here, guys. I need to say goodbye. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. <laughs> I love my friends. 
<laughs> God, thank you so much for all the birthday wishes and all that stuff, Rod. I won't touch you, I promise, I promise. But I love these guys. Like and subscribe. Make sure you check out their channel, guys. Predatory Fins. They have Arapaimas, Red Tails, everything you can think of. Sturgeon, that's only one. They have like 50, guys. Check them out. And you can also buy fish from their website. Amazing people and amazing, amazing opportunity. Guys, I hope you enjoy this episode and catch them all. Them all. Get him up!